this week. All right, so we are three minutes from getting started with our Fusion Impact class here. Again, parents, you're more than welcome to jump on as well, so give us some time. Do you like some of the cameras? No, I'm not. <laughs> Two minutes, 44 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> All right. I would do no such That's thing. Right. That's right. So we're starting off with some fun kicking drills to get warmed up before we stretched. So kind of get ready for that. I highly recommend having a water nearby. I've got mine. It will be gone very soon. Yeah, please comment when you are here. We've got Griffin in the house. I'm going to unmirror myself here. We'll re-mirror later. All right, good. Hey there, McKenna. Hey, Griffin. Two-minute warning here, so get a towel to dry yourself off with, as you will be sweaty. Grab a drink of water. All right. Nia's in the house. Very nice. Hey, Arlo. I've had to take my own selfie since you're not here to take selfies on my phone. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> I mean, I can take selfies for you. Hey, you can say six feet away. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> God. Say six feet away from my phone. All right, good. We have a one minute and 40 seconds left. And then we will get rolling here with our Fusion and Impact class. Remember the Fusion Warrior Kids class we just got done with a little while ago. Uh, once that's uploaded, you're also able to do that class. Any of these classes are good. Heck, you can do the Little Leader class if you want to. That's perfectly fine with us. All right, good. I'm going to hover this over here so I can see who we've got. All right, good. Again, drop a comment in so I know that you are here today. And we will go from there and get started here in just about a minute. Technically, a minute and six seconds if you want to be super technical about it. We've got our fusion class, which is fifth through eighth graders, and then high school and above impact training. Again, starting in 55 seconds, give or take. Good. All right, all right. Again, give yourself some time here before class starts. You can get a pre workout if you want to jumping jacks, back flips, whatever. I don't know which way to go because I don't know which way you are because this thing is so backwards. Oh yeah. gosh. <laughs> You just sense him. I was going to say, I was still, I was like behind you. Right. <laughs> this thing is so weird. All right, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Who do we got? All right. 23 seconds to go here, and then we are ready to rock and get started. Ow. <laughs> he has so much more energy than me. Here we go. All right. Excellent. 10 seconds left. <laughs> Mr. Lane's already injured. <laughs> All right, it is time. So I'm going to get this clock. We're going to use it for a couple of the drills that we're doing today. Oops, nope, that's not what I wanted to set the timer to. There we go. Save that. I'm going to pause, reset, and shrink that guy down. So we are going to use that in just a minute or so, and I'll have Mr. Lane on the timer when we get to that point, but not yet. All right, so again, mindset, get that mindset. Yes, you're in your living room, your basement, you're wherever you're at, but here's the deal right now, this room you're in right now is your dojo, okay? It's your martial arts school, it's your own personal alma. So for the next 30 to 40 minutes, just make sure you focus in on that. We wanna come back to this room in the next couple of weeks, better, faster, stronger, more flexible than when we left. And we can do that. We just have to push ourselves a little bit to get motivated. It doesn't take, it's not hard to do these classes. Follow along with me. I'm old, you can follow with me, okay? But it, the hard part is the motivation to do this twice a week. Or some of you guys have been jumping on three or four days a week, which is incredible, okay? We've got a couple special surprises coming up for you guys this week that you're gonna love. Uh, I hope you do anyways. If you don't love it, then it was Mrs. Mershad's idea. But here we go, let's start bowing in. So again, if you're an adult, and you feel silly saying the words in your living room, don't have to say them out loud, but you can think them in your head and we'll get started, okay? Face front, strong bow, and academy hits with me. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. One more strong bow. All right, ready, stance, arms in a circle here. Hey, Chance. All right, guys, we're gonna get 10 jumping jacks together. Let's start it together, ready, and go for it. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Good. Please wise your shoulders. Neck rotations. Big circles. Get your neck muscles warmed up here, loosened up. Ready to roll. Other way. Very good. Very good. Keep it going. Not too fast. Griffin, don't move your shoulders. Just your head. Good. And arm circles forward. Yes, I can see you. I know everything. Good. Arm circles. Big circles here. 
Good. And backward circles. Good circles. Get your shoulders nice and loose here. Back and forth across the body. Good. Give yourself a hug. Let go. Give yourself a hug. Let go. Good. And up and down. All right. All right. Good. Now from here, take one arm. Swing it forward. You know what's coming. One arm moving forward. Take the other one. Swing it backwards. One arm forward. One arm backward. You saw this one coming. I know. All right. Good. Then right arm forward. Other arm forward. And the other arm backwards. The forward, backwards. Combo pack with cheese. Except hold the cheese because I haven't had lunch yet. I'm starving. Good. <laughs> and done. Good. Feet as twice as your shoulders. We're going over the top side to side. Get those obliques stretched out the side of your core. Over the top, side to side. Excellent. Twist side to side. <laughs> Griffin said, how did you know? I know. Consistency. That's how I know, Griffin. Legs straight, fit low, side to side. <laughs> side to side. Good. Try to bring your chest to one knee, and then the other one. One knee, and then the other one. Hands on the forehead, side to side. The Spider-Man stretch. If you want to do the, that thing, is it this? Is it that way? I don't know. Side to side. Get loose. Get loose. And time. All right, so we have two rounds of this, okay? So when Mr. Lane says go, he's going to start the timer. 25 seconds. So round one, so the first exercise is front kicks. You haven't stretched yet, so you're not going high. I want you to go about as high as your waist. All right, for 25 seconds, hands in guard. Ready? And go. All right, here we go. One, two. Not trying to go super fast. Not trying to go super high. This is just, we're going to do this whole series twice. Got a couple of kicks and a couple of hand hittings that we're going to do for 25 seconds each. Two rounds. 10 seconds left. You got it. Don't quit. Don't let your guard drop. Hardest part is keeping these hands up. Good. My hands are independent of my legs. There you go. Good. One. Three, two, one. And rest for a second. Next exercise is going to be punches. If you're younger, you want to go full force turbo speed. You're welcome to. If not, just pace yourself. The most important thing, I want to turn sideways, the most important thing is that you push your shoulder and your elbow and your fist forward. So you don't want to hinge like this or like this, okay? So you want to push, push, push. Watch where my other hand goes. It comes right back to my cheek, okay? So here we go, 25 seconds and go. Here we go. Again, right now we're warming up, getting loose. Good punches. One hand goes to your guard, other hand goes back. Boom, boom. Good. 14 seconds. Keep it up, keep it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest. All right. Very good, very good. From here, we have crescent kicks. They're little ones and they get a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm going here, little circle. I uh, like a little circle. Not yet. We're not starting yet, but every time. A little bit higher. We're not going for flexibility. So you might want to go as high as your chest. And then relax. So right leg, left leg, outside crescent kicks. Ready? Go. All right, sir. Good. Nice and easy. We're not stretched yet. You might be stretched. I don't know. You need to have done all three classes already today. I did. <laughs> Good. Big circle. 13 seconds left. You got it. Here we go. 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and time. Very good. Take a quick rest. And then we've got some chops. Some chops. All right. So what we're going to do is 12 and a half seconds on one side, then 12 and a half seconds on the other side. We're going to get our stance. Chop, chop, chop. So watch. I'm kind of lunging just a little bit as I go. Okay. Notice for me, I'm also touching it to my other hand. That ensures that it comes back far enough. So I don't want to just do that. So it's kind of touching this hand and then chop. So when it's the halfway point, we'll switch sides and do the other side. Here we go. Ready. Go. Here we go. Chop, chop, chop. Good. Again, touching my other hand. Chop. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it. 15 seconds down. And switch. Other side. Chop, chop, chop. Good. Again, it's coming back and touching my other hand. Get the extra twist on the end for bonus points. Keep the other hand up. You don't want to do this. It doesn't look as good. Good. Keep it up. And time. All right. Very good. Now, back flips. Oh, wait. No, that's not what that says. This is round kicks. All right, so now, round kicks. So from here, we're gonna lift up, round kick. So I'm gonna pre-pivot this base foot. So this foot, my toes are turned backwards, my heel is turned forward. I'm gonna lean back, and I'm just gonna kick about body level here, nice and easy. 12 and a half seconds on one side, 12 and a half seconds on the other side. You ready? And go. Oh, round kick, round kick. Good, nice, easy, body level's fine. 
Good. 16 seconds in, left. Not enough. And switch. Other side. Oh, oh, I forgot to pre it. Good. Just to the body. Don't go high. That's it. Good. Three, uh, two, a one, and rest. All right. Very good, guys. That was round numero uno. Now we have one more round of all five of those. Oh, one more time. Yes, you're going to be fine. I promise. You'll get through this together. Here we go. Deep breath. All right, here we go. Round two, starting with our front kicks. Hands in guard and go. Oh, okay. Good. Again, not going super high. That's great. I angled the camera. The camera angle is lower, so it looks like I'm kicking really high. No, it doesn't. Good. Nice, easy. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and rest. Wipe this some sweat. Wipe this some sweat. I'm going to cheat and get a quick drink. All right, punches are next. So punches, again, in our guard, push and pull. One hand goes from basically my cheek all the way back, okay, to guard. Here we go. Ready. Go. Good, there you go, keep it up. One hand by your cheek, the other hand punching. You don't have to go super fast. 15 seconds left. Good, keep it up, 12. Here we go, the 10 second countdown, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and uppercut. All right, very good, here we go, take a quick rest. Then crescent kicks. All right, doing good, doing good. And after this, we get a good stretch. So you're gonna feel all those stretches. Again, my goal is when you guys are back in this room with me, to be more flexible than you were when you left, a little bit stronger, all right? And just as good at kicks and punches, okay? Here we go. Whew. All right. Ready. Crescent kicks. Alternating sides. Go. All right, here you go. Whoosh. Whoosh. Make your own whoosh sounds if you want to. Sound effects are optional. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Whoosh. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds, 8 seconds, oh boy, 6 seconds, good, 3, 2, 1, time, good, catch your breath for a second, and then we chop, we chop, a little bit of choppage, we chop them all night. that's right, when I was in high school and I was training, my friends never called where I worked the karate school or the martial arts school or taekwondo school, my friends always called it the chop shop, so every time I chop, that's all I think about, chopping in the chop shop, all right, here we go. Hands are up, chop, pull back, 12 and a half seconds on Sensei Nick's go. Go. All right, here we go, chop, <laughs> chop, good. Bring it right back to the other hand, pull, good. Good, keep it up, keep it up. 16 seconds to go, 15, 14, 13, switch, 12, good. Get that good chop, don't overextend, don't hurt your elbow. Good, keep it up, five seconds, three seconds, one seconds. And time. All right, very good. Last one is that roundhouse kick. Again, just going to the body. We haven't stretched yet. So going to the body level. So turning sideways. I'm going to start with my bad leg. All right, and again, going up, boom, round kick to the body, and back down again. 12 and a half seconds on each side on Mr. Lane's. Go. Go. That's my Mr. Lane's go. That's the second one. <laughs> good. Keep your hands in guard. I know it's hard. It's easier to drop your hands, I think. Oh, the terrible. Okay, Mr. Shad. There you go. All right, so here we go. Good, try to keep your hands up, switch your legs now. Boom. Round the body. Pow. Good. Hands are up. Hands are up. Six seconds. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds left. And time. Woo! All right, good. Hopefully you're feeling the burn. If not, shame on you. All right, I'm seated feet. Seated ankle stretch. So I'm sitting on the tops of my feet right now. And stretching out the top of my feet, shin, and even a little bit of quadricep stretch here. And also catching our breath in this dance. That's my favorite part. All right, good. From there, we're gonna roll our toes back, see the toe stretch. So I'm gonna turn sideways. So you sit back on the ball of your feet. Your toes are actually being pulled back, stretching your toes. Sometimes when we break a board with a front kick or a round kick, we will have to pull our toes back and hit the ball of our foot. So this just helps to stretch those toes out for that, stretch, for that kick. All right, good. We rotate cobra stretch, hips down, shoulders up. Good, we have a good core workout again at the end of the class. We're going to stick with, when I teach, a lot of the same 
finishing core workouts so that we get kind of used to it. And so by the end of this, we're feeling super strong in our core. Good, cat and I head down, shoulders up. Every instructor is teaching a little bit different, which is great to have that variety. But that's what you're going to see for me. Good. And drop down for the back bow. Arms up, legs up, heads up. Superman stretch if you do this. Regular Scott Iver stretch if you do this. And just don't lay in your face. Up, up, up. A little higher. Good. And down. All right, good. From there, have a seat. We're going to get five regular back rollers, then stop. So hold your knees. You're going to go back and then forward again. Let's go ahead and get five of those. Ready? Go for it. Good. To the base of your neck. Don't let your head hit the floor or the couch or the dog. Hopefully, you put them away. Not the couch or the dog. All right. Once you get five of those, now we're going to get uh, three on each side, jackknife back rollers. So jackknife back roller, I'm going to hold one leg with that same matching side. My other hand, I'm going to turn side with you. My other hand is going to grab my ankle and pull it down towards the floor, okay? So we're going to do three on one side, then get three on the other. Ready? Go for it. Good. Back and forward. Back, hold it. Forward three times. Good. And then switch. Other side. Griffin, stop getting stuff on your back. Here you go, stay. Rolling forward again, don't get stuck. Ready, roll, pull. Three on each side. And two. I've got one more. Good. All right, from there, legs are straight, feet together. Reaching forward, low as you can. Good, Arlo, keep your legs straight. I'm watching. Good, stretching forward, low as you can. You want to get more flexible over the next couple of weeks here. Stretch forward. Head down, hold it. Five, four, three, Two, one, time. One leg straight, other leg bent, hurdle stretch. So from here, leaning your chest forward, reach with your hand, and try to get your head all the way down as low as you can. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Other side. Good. Tuck that in. Reaching forward. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. A little bit lower, five, four, keep that leg straight, two, one, and time. All right, now from here, I'm going to take my right leg, cross it over, so my right knee is up. I'm going to twist around to the right side. Good. What was that comment there? I can see it. It says, what? They are straight. <laughs> Just making sure. Just making sure. Go ahead and switch the other side. And that one. Uh, it says, what? I wasn't doing that this time. <laughs> All right, just make sure you're not stuck on your back like a turtle. I'm not even ever do that. Good, all right, lay back, pull one knee in your chest, other leg straight, switching legs every 5.3 seconds. Good, pull that other knee in your chest nice and tight as this hip foot hangs out over the ground, not on the ground. So it shouldn't be touching, it should be up. Good. All right, good. Now here we're gonna get a windshield wiper stretch. It's gonna help your core, so watch, hands on the mat. Legs up, I'm gonna go all the way to one way, all the way to the other way. It's one, getting five of those. Ready to go. Side to side. All the way, big circle, big windshield wiper, big half circle, I should say. Good, almost there. All the way. Don't get stuck, don't flop on the side. All right, good. When you know that, sitting up, legs wide into a V. All right, good. Again, make sure you feel the tightness in your legs before you even start to stretch, okay? So I'm just back a little bit. So I feel, if I don't feel tightness, I'm gonna push it out. I do feel it now. Back straight, hands behind your head, 10 side to side stretches, ready, go. Side to side, one, good. Side to side, two, that's three. Good, keep it up, that's four. Side to side, five. Side to side, six. All the way down if you can, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. All right, now, you stretch them, you're more flexible, so push them out wider, okay? Now, take your hand, reach to your foot, take your other hand up and touch your ear, and then continue to bring it over as far as you can with your head trapped between your arms. And again, if you can't go all the way, that's okay. Just hold as low as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach the other hand out, other hand goes by your ear. Keep going as far as you can. Again, if this is as far as you can, that's fine. And just hold that stretch there. We want to go until it's tight and hold it. Until it's tight and hold it. Good. Excellent. All right, legs out. Stretch on your right side, left side, or down in the middle. Here we go. I'm going to go down the middle here. As far as we can here. Good stretch with good kicks today. Excellent. 
All right, good. Then from there, butterfly stretch. Bottoms of our feet together. Movies up and down. Good. We're going to push them straight down to the mat. All right, good. Then from there, when you're ready, go ahead and hop up. Get five more jumping jacks. Grab a quick drink of water. Go for it. Hey there, Alyssa. You didn't need all that stretching. You're already flexible enough as it is, so you can just kind of get ready. We all know. Good. All right, all right. So going from here into uh, some self-defense drills, we're going to review our cycle self-defense uh, for the cycle. Then from there, we're going to go through a uh, block and counterattack drill that's more self-defense oriented. Then Mr. Lane is going to come out and work some kicking drills with you guys to really focus on a hook kick. A hook kick is not something we do a ton, uh, that we teach a ton, and so it's just a really great kick for sparring, though, and for board breaking. It's just a lot of fun in general. Uh, then he's also going to go through our sparring drills and skills. Then I'm going to come back out after that, and we're going to do a core workout and then one finisher stretch, and we got you guys covered from there, okay? So from here, first we're going to go through, um, and we're also going to hit our form in there somewhere. That is written down, just not on the paper. So from here, go with our self-defense for this cycle. So make sure there's not anything directly behind you. We are going to break fall. So at testing, whether it be a virtual testing or real testing, it's going to be virtual, but you're going to demonstrate this skill like this. Okay, I'm going to do it once all the way through, and then I'm going to have us go through it, uh, kind of break it down. So it's going to be palm, palm, elbow, elbow, down elbow, down elbow, knee strike, knee strike, break fall, getting up in base, hands up, okay? So let's go through the whole thing a couple times slow. So I'm in my self defense hands, hey man, back off. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to get hurt by you. All right, so we're going palm strike, palm strike, elbow strike, elbow strike, downward elbow, downward elbow, knee strike, knee strike. Then I'm sitting as low as I can. So if you can, kind of bring your elbows down to your knees like this. Then watch my arms. I'm not going to use them until the very last minute. I'm going to squat down and then pop the floor as the middle part of my back touches. I'm not gonna let my legs fly back, and I'm gonna get up here, okay? So I've got one foot planted, the opposite hand. I feel like I'm just kind of chilling out here. I like to use this leg to pretend to kick, like I'm gonna push somebody away from me. That leg then goes back behind my hand, fits on the mat, and then I get up from there, okay? So let's do the whole series again. So I'm here, ready? Palm strike, palm strike, elbow, elbow, downward elbow, downward elbow, knee strike, knee strike, sit, roll, pop, Sit up, one foot, opposite hand. You can kick if you want, then pull left foot back behind you, standing up in base. Good, here we go, one more time, or two more times, and then we're gonna go through a different self-defense drill for today. Here we go, ready? Hand, palm, palm, elbow, elbow, downward elbow, downward elbow, knee strike, knee strike, sit, pop, kick, pull back. You don't have to do that fast yet, it's okay, take your time. Here we go. All right, one more time, here we go, and, Palm, palm, elbow, elbow, down, elbow, down, elbow, knee strike one, knee strike two, sit, roll back, pop, kick forward if you want, thread it back through, hands up and guard to block yourself, okay? Very good. So that is what you'll demonstrate as your self-defense skill, those of you testing uh, this testing. So next, we're just going to go through some block and counterattack drills. So these are, these are not sparring drills, so I'm going to have my hands open. The reason I have my hands open in self-defense is a couple reasons. Number one, it looks less threatening. If I'm here, it looks like I'm trying to fight somebody. If it's here, it looks like I'm trying to de-escalate the situation, try to calm it down, simmer down. Which, by the way, if you're ever in front of somebody who's really angry, <laughs> telling them to calm down, worst thing you can do. Never do that to your parents. Like, calm down, mom. Yeah, let's, don't do that. So, hands here. Mr. Lane's like, no way. All right, uh, so hands here. The other reason is, in sparring, I'm not allowed to grab a hold of my partner, but in self-defense, I'd, I'd be able to, and I sometimes need to, to stop them from hitting me, right? So my hands are gonna be open for these. I uh, close them if I'm going to punch, of course, but right now we're not going to do that. So from here, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to low block. So I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to close my grip, okay? So what am I low blocking? Maybe somebody is trying to kick me. Maybe they're trying to punch me in the ribs or whatever, okay? Um, maybe they're coming to tackle me. I'm coming down and I'm blocking their head out of my way. But regardless, I'm just going to take this front arm. Here, it's here. I'm going to bring it down. I close it as it comes down, okay? So I'm going to go from here. Boom. Now, as it comes back up, I'm going to use it to outer form block. So the idea is, maybe someone's coming at me kicking and trying to punch me in the face. So I'm going to block low. As it comes up, here comes that punch in my face. I'm going to block, and then they come across trying to punch me again. I'm going to block. So same arm, three blocks. So it goes low, outer form, outside. Low, outer form, outside. One more time. Low, outer form, outside. Good. Let's switch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a counterattack after this. Okay, so ready? First thing. Oh, sorry. 
Here's a, here's a All right, first thing, low block, outer forearm block, outside block, and back off. Low, outer forearm, outside, back off. Low, comes to the wrong one, outer forearm, outside, back off. All right, let's switch back. Good, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a stun. So a stun is not something that's gonna destroy this person for life. It's just gonna stop them momentarily so I can run away, okay? So one example would be I block, 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 palm strike, and then I would run. Or I block, block, block whoop, I'm gonna do my three blocks first. Block, 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 elbow strike. So you're gonna throw any stun technique you want. It can be a punch, a palm, a knee strike, a kick, whatever you want, okay? So after this, so starting here, hey man, back off, I don't wanna fight you, and then block, 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 boom, okay? So on your own, if, uh, Mr. Williams, set the timer again, 25 seconds. On this side only, ready, and go. Go for it, so block, 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 palm strike, or whatever. Block, 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 knee strike, good. Any move you wanna do, boom, ridge hand. Block, 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 reverse elbow. Block, 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 inner knife hand. Block, 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 back leg knee strike. All right, good, five seconds left. Block, 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 twin eye poke. That's what he is. All right, switch sides. Other side. Here we go. So we got three blocks and any stun move you want to do. Ready? And go. Go for it. So low block, out or forearm block, outside block, and any other move you want to do. Block, 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 first elbow. Block, 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 back elbow. Block, 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 front kick. Good. Block. Ten seconds left. Any move you want to do. One, two, three, four. Good. Three. No, not three. Three, two. One, yeah, all right, good job, good job. Get a quick drink of water. Excellent. Very good, very good. So again, we want you guys to be working on your form at home, working on it via the videos. There's a videos in the uh, media section of this group, so make sure you check that out. And from there, we are gonna go through section one and two. It is very complicated to do in this format, but we're gonna try it anyways, because I know you guys can do it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip the mirror image here so you guys can follow along with me. All right, so now it should look like you're sitting in front of me. Our left sides are both gonna to go to the left side of your living room, okay? Or your den or your wherever you're at, basement. All right, so from here, face front, strong bow. All right, ready, stance. Good, from here, left arm's crossing on top, left arm's gonna low block. It's gonna recross on top, chop. Twist kick for black belt, so you're going that way. All right, side kick for everybody else. Boom, when you land, switch arms and punch. When you land, again, we're in this long front stance. I hope this never happens to you, but if you run out of gas and you have to push your car, you're gonna use a front stance. So that's where you should be kind of engaged in that front leg, okay? So let's do that again. Left, low block, left, chop, twist kick for black belts, side kick for everybody else, land back on punch, come together. Other side, right side, low block. So we should all be going this direction in your room. Right arm, chop, right leg, twist kick for black belts, side kick for everybody else, land back on punch, sink into that stance. Point your punch to the mirror, or to the front of my mirror, I have mirrors. Take your other hand behind your ear like you're trying to listen to somebody. As I turn my toes, I hold the pizza. Inner knife hand strike one. Take your other hand behind your ear, step forward, inner chop, hold the pizza. All right, from there, bring my hands forward, left knee strike comes up, Aya! Landing my feet together facing this direction. All right, so let's do section one again. And again, we're mirror image. Then we're gonna turn the other way and we're gonna try section two and then we're really brave, we'll try section three, okay? So here we go, ready? So the left, we're all going this way. Low block, chop, twist kick, or side kick, land back arm punch, come back together, low block, chop, twist kick, or side kick, back arm punch, point prepare, inner knife one, point prepare, inner knife two, left leg, knee strike, landing together. All right, you know this section two goes the opposite way, it's hard to teach that way, so I'm going to go over here, and we're going to go towards the, the camera again here, towards the TV. So, I have my right leg stepping out. I want you to do mirror image with me. If you want to go the other direction, you can, but again, teaching this, this side is a little bit challenging. So, okay, right leg, right arm hugs on top, right leg steps out to that front stance low block. So, you can see, if you're looking at the screen, my feet are as wide as my shoulders. So, if you see me like this, that's not a very good front stance. That means my feet are not wide at all. So I want my feet as wide as my front, as my shoulders are rather. Front knee bent. So my left arm, no, my right arm, just low blocks. From there, my left hand is gonna palm strike, back leg front kick if you're a purple belt or below, 
back leg axe kick for red and brown belts, back leg front kick axe kick for black belts, okay? So again, front kick, axe kick, or front axe kick, pen your belt, right? Lift up, go ahead and do your kicks. Before you land it, we hug. Now my left side is going to low block. My right arm is going to palm strike. Now do the same kick you just did. When you land this time, back arm punch, pop switch your legs, back arm punch, right knee this time comes up, knee strike, and yell. So if you are uh, green belt or below, that's where your form ends. So you guys can go through and practice that again. I know some of you guys, many of you already have your strike, but a lot of you participated in the competition last month. Was it last month? Was it this month? Three weeks ago? It was this month. Anyways, earlier this month, you participated in the tournament, so a lot of you already have your form down pat. So you can practice the whole thing. All right, so I'm going to go through section one, section two, and section three one more time for those of you that need the help, especially section three this time. Ready? So from here, left, low block, chop, whichever kick you're doing, punch, then together, low block, chop, whichever kick you have, punch, inner chop, one, inner chop, two, ayah, knee strike. So this time I am going to go away from the camera. So those of you that were like, I don't understand, now you can go with me. Okay, so right side hug, I sit to the back of the classroom, low block. Back arm, palm strike, do whatever kick I had you do. Purple belt for blue, front kick, axe kick for brown and red, front axe for black belt, whichever one it is, boom, land with your low block on that side, left. Palm, then from there, whatever kick you have, landing back arm punch one, pop switch, back arm punch two, right knee strike, hi -ya! landing feet together. All right, so from here, we've got a couple of different section threes, so I'm gonna kinda go through some of these as best I can as you go from here, blue belts and above, you guys step out, low block, blue belt, purple belts. So from here, low block, double round, elbow. Stop there. Brown and red belts. Whoop, sorry. Low block, double round, spin crescent elbow. Black belts, low block, one, two, three round kick, jump spin crescent, reverse elbow. Then we step back to the same combo, low block, either double round elbow, Double round spin crescent elbow, or double round jump spin crescent elbow, okay? And then stop from there. So again here, boom, boom, for blue belts, boom, okay? Spin crescent for brown, jump spin crescent for black belts. All right, so from here, we have a blue belt and purple belts, skip round kick, and then twin chop, yep. And then from there, brown and red belts, up with back to the front, round kick. And then from there, black belts are going down, drop, round kick, hi twin chop. Whoo! All right, so. From there, get a drink of water real quick. I'm gonna go through a quick leadership mat chat with you guys, if you will. And then Mr. Lane's gonna come out and do some kicking drills with you guys and some sparring skills. And then we'll have you on your way. So, uh, mat chat, very important right now. Again, I said this the other day, post positive. So if you have social media, using it wisely, using it to uplift and give hope and give excitement to people. So as you post different things, post things that you're doing to entertain yourselves. Post different challenges that you're doing. Post some of this, okay? Uh, you may heard there's some people that are just taking a break right now because of coronavirus, uh, and we need your support. So, you know, tell some, post about your workouts that you're doing at home. Post about different pictures that you've drawn or books that you've read. So keep everybody going by continuing to challenge your friends, family, people who follow you on social media to do the same thing, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Lane, and he's gonna do some fun kicks for you guys. All right, guys. So now you're stuck with me for a little bit. All right, so. Again, we're gonna work on that hook kick, right? But we're gonna take it in steps, right? So we're not gonna go immediately for the straight hook. All right, we're gonna do it in steps. So if you'll join me, go ahead and take a seat on the ground. Gonna start slow, all right? We're just kind of relaxing right here on the ground, okay? So we're gonna have our feet like this. Well, actually, you know, we're just gonna go ahead and turn. We're gonna lay down, all right? So you're gonna be laying down on, let's all go ahead and start with, uh, what, the left side? Yeah, left side right here, all right? So. Our right side's gonna be down, our left arm's gonna be up. We're gonna be completely on our side, trying to keep in a straight line all the way from our shoulders to our hips to our knees to our feet, all right? Now, what we're gonna do, you're gonna chamber this foot into your chest like a side kick, right? So first, just working on that side kick, right? Working on that, all right? So I'll go ahead and count out five, right? With me or on your own, all right? One, two, go ahead and turn to the side here, three, Four, you don't have to kick that high, you know, we're not, not trying to do strenuous, right? Five, all right. So now, gotta make sure we stay even, so now doing it on the other side, all right? So if you did it on your left, now we're doing it on our right. Remember, same straight line between your shoulders, hips, knee, and foot, all right? So, chamber in that foot, side kick. One, chamber, 
two, three, four, and chamber five. All right, so now we are also, let's see, is that the heel? Yes, all right, so now from the side kick, right? So that was just the first part of the hook, right? So remember, a hook kick chambers like a side kick, but then we stick it out. So with this, right, you're gonna shoot out that side kick there, but hold it, all right, you're gonna hold it. You're not gonna go straight on the target, you're gonna go a little bit forward. So you're gonna miss the target intentionally. You're gonna bring your heel around, all right? So now there's that heel kick, all right? So go ahead and just flip your, keep your legs straight like that, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up your foot, you're gonna bring it around like that, and then back, all right? It's almost like you're making a circle. A circle with your heel, with your leg, all right? And then coming back here, all right? So ready? One, and the heel, turning here. Two, heel, turning here. Three, heel, return. Four, heel, return. And five, heel, turn. All right, now switching sides, all right? Right side this time, or left side, follow me, all right? So ready? One. Two, turn. Three, turn. Four, turn. I guarantee I'm not the only one feeling this. Five, Arlo, I see you. Return. All right. So now, from the heel kick, right? So, for a hook kick, remember, chambers like a side kick. You stick it out. You bring that heel to the center. Now we have the round kick, right? So, Keeping that same pose, all right? So now the round kick, remember, you're aiming with your knee towards the target, all right? But it worked on some round kick. So extend that out all the way and then pull it back, all right? Ready? One. And return. Two. Kick. Back. Three. Kick. Back. Four. Kick. Back. And last one on this side. Five. All right. Now, switching sides again. All right, remember, you want to try and keep on that target, right? I usually like to start my knee a little further back behind this leg that's straight. That way you can get the full range of motion there, all right? So, again, five more kicks, ready? One, back, two, back, three, four, back, awesome, keep going. Last one, five, all right. So now, we have basically done every single part of the actual hook kick, right? So, with me now, going through the full range of motion, all right? So, starting the chamber with that side kick, right? Starting that side kick chamber. Sticking it out at a 45 degree angle, all right? Not on target, but a little before. Bringing that heel around. Once your heel meets the middle, hook that leg down like the end of a round kick, right? So, remember, start like a side kick, end like a round kick, all right? Let's do five on our own. Right, ready, go. Nice, keep it going, keep it going. I know you're feeling it a lot in your hips, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling it too, it does not feel the best, but you're getting that full range of motion, right? Once you got five on one side, go ahead and do five on the other as well. Right, keep it going, hello, I believe that's Mr. Jamie right there, good to see you. Even though I'm not seeing you, but I'm seeing you, you know what I'm saying? All right. And last one for me, five. All right, so now I think we have that motion down. So now what we're gonna do for about 20 seconds, give or take, all right? We're gonna work on that hook, all right? So just a few on each side. Gonna work on one hook, one leg, one hook with the other, all right? So I'd say probably do three on your left, three on your right, and then you'll be good, all right? And we'll have 25 seconds on the clock right here. All right, ready, three, Two, one, go. All right, so we're going on the full range of motion, all right? Also, like for that round kick for the warm-up, right? Go ahead and pre-pivot that foot so that you can keep your balance there. All right, three on one leg. Now three on the other leg. Two and three, two, one, time. All right. So now we're gonna get into some sparring skills, all right? So, for my white and yellow belts, all right? We have that beginning sparring skill, all right? We have number one, which is front kick, 
jab punch, back leg round kick, right? So that's going to be your sparring skill that you present at your testing. Now, for orange and above, what we're gonna do is you're going to present your own combo, right? Three move combo. So that could be anything ranging from three hand techniques, you could do two hand techniques and a kick, uh, two kicks and a hand technique, could be anything, all right? Any move that you know, we're gonna work on that, all right? But what I want right now, for the white and yellow belts, right? We're working on that beginning, or the number one sparring seal, okay? So we're gonna front kick, jab punch, back leg round kick, and then reset, all right? That's what we're gonna be working on. And then, for the uh, orange and above, right? We're gonna be working on different three move combos, all right? So it could be, uh, see, front, round, slide, and back fist, right? Could be front, back fist, ridge hand, right? Could be front, punch, punch here, right? But for, let's see, let's go for 30 seconds this time. Give us a little more time than just 20, or 25. All right, so 30 seconds. Ugh, pause that, reset, all right. So 30 seconds, right? Or, or white and yellow belt, working on that number one sparring skill. And then for orange and above, we're working on that three move combo. All right, ready, go! All right, so could do front kick, back fist punch, side kick, knife hand, ridge hand, right? Something like that. Switching sides could do hook, round, back fist, whole bunch of fun stuff, right? Remember, on this side, we're going to front, jab, punch, round kick, and then reset, all right? Got five more seconds, four, three, two, one, time. All right, so now going on to number two for my white and yellow belts, all right? So remember, number two, is the double round kick slide in with the back fist, right? So picking up that front leg, doing round, round, slide in, back fist, and then resetting, right? Remember, it's all gonna be on one side, so it'll be easy to memorize, all right? So remember, doing that round, round, slide in, back fist, all right? Now, for orange and above, what we're gonna work on, we're gonna work on a four move combo now, all right? So adding in that extra move. So we're getting closer to almost like the bread and butter feel, okay? So could do front, round, side and back fist, punch, or could do hook, back fist, spin heel, or spin hook, and then a skip front, right? So it could be a combination of a whole bunch of different things, all right? But trying to come up with a four move combo, all right? Another 30 seconds on the clock. Again, white and yellow, working on number two, all right? Round, round, back fist, and then over here for orange and above, we're working on that uh, four move combo, all right? So. And then over here, right? So let's see, we could do hook punch, upper, front, side. We could do twist, back, ridge hand, round kick. Think of a whole bunch of different advanced moves. Ignore me now. <laughs> All right, whatever moves you have and time. All right, now, whew, go ahead and grab a quick drink of water if you need it. I know I need it. All right, so. Now, four, my white and yellow bus, right? Now going on to that number three, all right? So now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do that outside block, right? That round step, so it's gonna be outside block, front knife hand chop, back hand does a reverse punch, and then you can either do that jump front kick with either your front leg or a jump change leg front kick with your back, all right? So, full thing, outside block, knife hand chop, back hand punch, Either jump here or jump change leg there, all right? So that's what we're doing for number three for our white and yellow belts. For my orange and above, now we're doing five move <laughs> combo, okay? So I am getting out of breath, Mr. Mercedes. All right, so, <laughs> so now working on that five move combo, all right? So we're getting into that full combo field, the amount of moves that we should be doing for our combos, right? So another 30 seconds on the clock. Coming up with any moves that we can, all right? If you're higher in rank, trying to come up with more advanced moves, all right? But 30 more seconds on the clock. Ready, go! Up, wait, as soon as I started, there we go. All right. So, remember, doing that outside block, back punch, jump front. All right, over, round side, punch, kick there. All right, now over here, let's 
see. Let's come up with a crazy one. All right, so spin heel, jump front, knife, ridge, spin crescent. It was crazy. I don't know. But something crazy, but within the confines of your home, right? <laughs> All right, and time. Oh, that was crazy. All right, so. For my white and yellow belts, right? Remember, we just went over all three of your sparring skills so you have to know for your testing, all right? So if you have those down, more than likely, all right, we'll be able to test you for your strike. Or more than likely, if you have those down, you already have your strike, right? Now, for orange and above, all right, what I challenge you to do is I challenge you to create your own set of moves, all right, for a combo. So if you only have one, no problem, right? But if you're able to come up with more, That'd be amazing. Again, all right, trying to keep with the theme. Leaders create. So don't be afraid to experiment. If you fall down a few times, you got to get up more than a few times, all right? I'll tell you this. I've fallen down more than a few times, all right? But you want to try and create your own combo, and then you'll or, and then if you want, all right, go ahead and put it down there in the comments. You'll take a video, put it in the comments so that we can see that you create your own combo and keep it up with the class, all right, guys? All right, so now I'm going to pass it back over to Mr. Rashad. We're going to finish out the class. All here. right, very good, very good. So from here, we're going to go through... Our core crunch. All right, so here we go. I don't know if that's the right angle or not. All right, so core crunch. Then from there, we're going to stretch it out with a good finisher stretch, and then we'll go from there. I know it lasts a little bit longer than it normally does, so we'll do this uh, a little bit quicker. Here we go. So we're going to start off with, this is one, that's two, that's three. We're going to get 30 bicycles. Here we go. Ready? And go for it. One, two, three, six. Good. Keep it up. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 8, that's 30 for me. Again, finish up. If you're going a little bit slower, that's perfectly fine. You definitely want to uh, you know, go at a good pace, okay? Next set, jackknives, okay, or rowboats. So I'm going from here, knees to chest, and back. If you need to have your hands behind you, you can do that. 15. Here we go. Ready? And go for it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, very good. From here, alternating foot touches, okay? So this one here is I'm legs are up, I'm gonna swoop, touch, swoop, touch. Okay, this one is eight on each side, eight on each side, ready? And go for it. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, almost there, six, seven, and eight, eight. All right, very good. Last one, delivery crunches, okay? So here, delivery crunches. I pretend I'm grabbing a package from behind me. My thumb touch the floor. My pinky touch between my feet like I'm delivering the package, okay? So we are going to do, where are we at? We're going to do 10 of these, and then we're done with our core crunch because you guys have worked really hard today. Okay, here we go. Ready, 10 of them, and go for it. That'd be one, touch, two, touch, three, Four, five, doing great. Six, seven, almost there. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, from there we're gonna cobra stretch. Hips down, shoulders up. Good. We did a lot of kicking drills today, so we're gonna do a really fun stretch to finish up here. <laughs> I feel like every time I say fun, nobody trusts me. I don't know why nobody trusts me when I say fun. It's going to be a fun, fun stretch. All right, you guys still with me? Okay, very good. Here we go. Let's see if you can finish this up strong. So we're going to go here. All right, keep your toes pointed towards the camera. We're going to slide it out. If you can, touch your hands to the floor, and we're going to go here and hold. Good. Now take one foot and move it out an inch or two. Now take the other one, move it out like an inch. If you want to put your elbows down, you can. Hold until it goes numb, and I have no idea what that means when it goes numb. I just know it doesn't feel good. And then it does. All right, last thing, hands here. We're going to get five push-ups. Ready? Go for it. One, two, three, four, five. From there, go ahead and lay back on your back. Pull one knee to your chest. Other leg stretch. Ooh. Other leg hanging out. And then switch, hold. Good, then switch, hold. Last time, switch, hold. 
Awesome job, awesome job, guys. So again, that was a killer 45 minute workout. You guys did a great job. Hand in the middle. I don't care how silly it's six feet, six feet, nice. <laughs> All right, we crushed it on three. One, two, three, we, we crushed, crushed it. it. You guys are awesome. We'll see you back on the mat soon. And keep positive, guys, keep positive. See you later.